Hello everybody, this is a Love Yourself Guru and welcome to the Love Yourself TV and welcome to day 17 of Ramadan 2022 with the Guru. And today's word is consistent. We're going to be defining what the word consistent means and we're going to be taking a look at what you are consistent in, in your life, God willing, and maybe God willing, integrating some, some, some positive things to be consistent in, in your life. So let's begin. Now, if you look at the word consistent in the dictionary, it says acting or done in the same way, unchanging in nature, uh, standard or effect over time. And here I've just written down a few quotes that I found on being consistent. Consistency is more important than perfection. To be successful, you have to be consistent. The key to success is consistency. What you do every day matters more than what you do every once in a while. And you're, what I found is, is that we're all consistent in something, whether we're aware of it or not, either consciously or unconsciously, we are all consistent in things that we do. Now, how do you define whether what you're consistent is? And it, they don't have to be big things, most of the time we're all consistent in very little things but these little things every day they accumulate over time so it's really defining and looking at what you're consistent in the little things that you do so how do you know what you're consistent is well we'll we'll, we'll look at let's say let's look at your health are you healthy well that means you're consistent god willing in in, in, in a good few habits are you unhealthy that means you're consistent probably in a few few things that aren't benefiting you. Are you happy? That means you're consistent, God willing, in doing things that are putting you in a state of happiness. Are you unhappy? Well, there's something consistent going on there that's putting you in a state of unhappiness. So you're always consistent in, in something. And whatever you're consistent in is, is creates, God willing, your reality. And whatever you are consistent in, magnifies as you get older i mean magnifies so for instance you find people that let's say for instance people that are very happy um uh, uh, when they're younger and they, they've been consistent in in taking up activities that create happiness you'll find when they're older they it just magnifies and then there's just this bundle of joy same thing for instance if, 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 if throughout the years you've been very consistent in getting angry or very consistent in keeping resentment in there or frowning, then, um, then, then you'll find that that will magnify um, when you get older. So whatever you're consistent in increases, increases, creates your reality, God willing, and over time, over time, magnifies so it's really 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 essential to 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 know what you're being consistent in and especially in Ramadan because in Ramadan it's almost as if like I like I've said in all my sessions it's like a boot camp but it's almost as if it's a time where we reflect on our lives and it's a time where if we've not been living consciously if we've been unconscious about certain things. Ramadan is a time where we really become conscious of everything in our lives and it's a time where, God willing, we change things for the better. So now, God willing, this year, 2022, is a time for us to be conscious about what we are consistent about. So what do we do? I've written down three things that in this Ramadan, if you could integrate into your life and be consistent in for until the next Ramadan, God willing, it will change your life. But before we do that, before I get into those three things, I really want you to take five or 10 minutes, okay, uh, of your day or even half an hour, that would be lovely. And really reflect on your life really reflect on the state uh, that you're in. Are you, God willing, the majority of the time, are you in a positive state or are you in a negative state? Just really reflect on your life, you. Reflect on your life. And then I really want you to reflect on what things are you consistent in? 
be it positive or be it negative. So, for instance, if you're not in a if you're in a negative state, there's going to be consistency of of negative things. There's going to be more. You're going to be more consistent in negative things and positive things. So just write down a list of things that you're consistent in. Small things that you do every day. Small thoughts that you think every day that accumulate over time. So you've got now. So you, so first of all, you've you, you've 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 sat down and you've taken the time to reflect on your beautiful, wonderful, precious life. Number two is you're going to actually reflect on what things you're consistent in, the negatives and the positives, and then see which ones are you more. Uh, do you have more positives or negatives? And then maybe write down a list, God willing, of little things. I mean, little things that you could maybe be consistent in that will over time until the next Ramadan, God willing, would make a very big difference. And over time, God willing, when God willing, God willing, God willing, you're a hundred years old, God willing, God willing, God willing, it will just, they would magnify. God willing, God willing. So that's the first thing to do. And like I said, make them very small. So before I went into the love yourself guru thing, I actually had a habit of of if I wanted to do something, I would just, I, I would have to be, it would have to be so extreme. Like so, so for instance, if I, if I wanted to start exercising, it would have to be four hours a day. Whatever I did, I always had to do, go to the extremes. And my, my sisters, my, my sisters, okay, my sister would always say to, would you stop being so, would you stop doing that? Would you, would, you know, would you stop doing that? And they were right. And over time, they it wouldn't last what I, what I always started off to do wouldn't last until until I really went you know deep soul searching and really went deep into my studies and really went deep into my love yourself movement your uh, love yourself movement and then I've actually it's a habit that I've taken on I've been consistent in this habit I've been consistent in being consistent of taking on little things so I don't take on big things anymore. So if I want to start exercising, I'll do 15 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day. If I want to start reading, I'll do 15 minutes a day. Whatever, whatever new habits I want to be consistent in, I make sure that they're small. I make sure that they're small so that they can sustain over time. So it's not about writing down big things, God willing, that you're gonna be consistent in. Those small things will become big. Okay, so let's talk about three things, God willing, that if you, three things to, 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 to be consistent in, to find something to be consistent in until the next Ramadan, God willing. So the first thing is one thing between you and your creator. Just one practice between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, between you and your creator one practice so for instance if you're not praying for instance let's say for instance if you if you're in the habit of skipping your prayers and just until next Ramadan God willing just to start doing one prayer to say you know what I'm going to try to do all the prayers but this this one prayer I'm not going to miss it so let's do it I'm not going to miss it I'm going to be consistent in it or reading one page of the Quran every day, you're not gonna miss it. Or let's say for instance, having a little chat with your creator, 10 minutes a day, sitting down and talking to your creator, you're not gonna miss it. Choose something small and write it down, and write down God willing, until next Ramadan, God willing, you're not gonna miss a day of it. God willing, God willing, God willing. And this will really, 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 really strengthen the bond between you and your creator, because when you're consistent, it grows over time. So just choose one thing, God willing, between you and your creator and make it make it small, God willing. Uh, number two, choose one thought. Choose one thought that you think every single day, till this Ramadan, till next Ramadan. One thought that 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 you're that's always on your mind. It could be every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better. I love myself. God is great. My life is amazing. Um, it's a brilliant day. I'm doing so well. Just choose one positive thought, God willing, one positive thought and keep it until next Ramadan. 
and and and, and keep on saying it until next time or not. It's a habit, so you'll be you'll be known for not only thinking this thought but saying out loud. It's a wonderful, brilliant day. Like I'm known for always saying, it's a wonderful, brilliant day. And I, I give a kiss at the end of it. So just just one, choose one thought. And this, this thought, it's amazing. If you're consistent, if you find one positive thought and you're consistent in it, I promise you, God willing, God willing, God willing, by next Ramadan, it will restructure all the, your other thoughts. Absolutely brilliant life-changing so choose one thought be consistent in it and think it over and over and over again so we've got one one practice with your creator one bonding practice god willing with your creator we've got one positive thought until next ramadan and the next one next thing is one thing to do for your body because your body allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our creator has given us our body it's our shell it's our shell. So one thing, one small thing, it could be, okay, so you know what? I'm gonna start walking 10 minutes a day. You know what? Every day I'm gonna look in the mirror, I'm gonna say, I love you. I love my body just the way it is, I love you. It could, choose one thing. It could be, so for instance, you know what? Every day I'm going to start drinking more water. I'm gonna drink, for instance, more water every day. Choose one thing, God willing, God willing, one small thing and be consistent in it and God willing, leave it until the next Ramadan. And so those are the three things that um, I really, I, I'm going to do it with you. We're going to do it together, God willing. I'm going to do it tonight. I'm going to write down the three things, God willing, that I'm going to be consistent in today. Today, I'm going to sit down. I promise you, I'm going to reflect on my life and I'm going to say, okay, the love yourself guru, what are you being consistent in? Okay. What are you being consistent in? And what things could you be more consistent in? Small things that could create God willing, God willing, God willing, God willing, even more positive effects, God willing. And then I'm going to sit down, God willing, and I'm going to write down, God willing, one thing that God willing, I'm going to do from this Ramadan till the next Ramadan, God willing, for my with my creator, one with, with, with my creator. Number two, I'm going to choose one thought that I'm going to keep from this Ramadan to the next Ramadan, a positive thought, God willing. And number three, I'm going to choose one thing for my body just to do one thing one small thing god willing i love you loads i hope you have a brilliant beautiful absolutely amazing day and well done we're on day 17 god bless you all god bless the whole of humanity and i'll see you tomorrow god willing